Now, when starting the shell, if we want, we can also skip the URL. That is, I can just start the scrapey shell with the same command, that is scrapey shell, and don't provide any URL, just hit enter, it will start the shell. But if we inspect the response, you can see it does not have any response because we didn't send any request. And to do that from our shell, we can just use the fetch function to fetch a response from a URL. So let's say we'll just visit HTTPS, our books to scrape.com. And if I just hit enter, you can see it will go ahead and fetch the response for us. And we have 200 status code, which is just a normal status code. So if I inspect the response again, you can see we get the response object back. Now what I can do is just use our response and choose anything. Let's say I'll just extract the link element. So response H3, the A, hit enter. You can see we get a list of all the H3A elements, that is all of the A tags. So let's say I'll just extract the first element using the index zero and store that inside of our link. Now you will see that our link is a selector object of this A tag that is right here. And on this link, we can perform anything we want. Let's say I want to get its attribute. So I can just use the attribute data attribute dictionary and I want the title. You can see we get the title and let's say I want to get the href that is its link. We get that as well. Now, one other thing here is that if we can fetch any response, we can do that multiple time as well. Now, let's say what I want to do is visit the travel page that is this one right here. So we can visit that as well. I'll just copy its URL and then I'll provide that to our fetch function. So if I do that and paste the URL right here, hit enter, it will go ahead and fetch the request for us. Now, if I use our response and CSS, the same thing that is the H3, a tag, get its attribute. So attribute selector and what I want is the title. Let's get it. You can see it's a other title. That is, it's only the Himalayas, which is the first title of our travel page. So that's how we can use the fetch function to fetch different responses of different URLs in our scrapey shell.